How are we? Good. Good morning. Good morning. Nope. <laughs> We're going to start all over again. Good morning. Good morning. What a beautiful morning here in Echo Park. Uh, a great community uh, in the city of Los Angeles and one we're very, very proud of. I want to begin by acknowledging my good friends, uh, Eric Garcetti and Ed Reyes, who I hope will be joining us in a bit. Uh, the two of them have represented this community for a very long time. Uh, I uh, represented this community when I first got into public life in 1994. Uh, I can tell you, I know the hills of Echo Park. Uh, I know the flatlands as well. Uh, this is a community uh, that's exceptional. Uh, and we're very proud to have uh, the representatives who have helped to make it uh, exceptional, working with uh, community members, uh, neighborhood council leaders, uh, and business leaders here in Echo Park. And I want to acknowledge uh, as well Gail Goldberg uh, with the general manager of the city planning department as well as all of the neighborhood council leaders and activists who work day in and day out. And I can tell you that Gail uh, is without question uh, one of the great assets uh, here in the city of Los Angeles. Uh, early on uh, I got this sense that this is a woman uh, a vision, uh, a passion uh, for neighborhoods, and I want to acknowledge her and her support and uh, her presence here today. And of course, we want to thank the American Planning Association, right, for honoring this neighborhood and the entire city with this award. Uh, thank you all. I don't have to tell you that Echo Park is one of the brightest lights in a city full of stars and a city of angels, a neighborhood that prides itself on its uh, ethnic and cultural heritage, its strong backbone of civic engagement, its unparalleled commitment to preserving history, promoting the arts, and protecting public spaces. Thank you very much. Uh, this area is a place where generations of Angelinos have raised their families, started vibrant businesses, and given back to the city. And, you know, I, just the other day, I saw uh, Chinatown for the first time in five or six years maybe maybe it's ten and of course uh, in one of the scenes of Chinatown is uh, someone rowing I think Mr. The, the DWP guy right Mr. Muldane or whatever his name was and he's rowing on Echo Park Lake and it was so idyllic and you could close your eyes uh, be there uh, in the 19 uh, 30s and 40s or be there today and I think that's what's so special about Echo Park and the community this is a place where kids parents and grandparents of every background and culture can come together and enjoy Los Angeles uh, and all that it has to offer its cohesiveness as a single neighborhood a united community sets an example of smart planning and strategic development it's no surprise that the American Planning Association would um, choose this beacon of diversity as one of the 10 great neighborhoods of 2008. This is about you. You know what's great about this uh, neighborhood, it's one of the original suburbs. Uh, to think of LA, it was basically downtown and a few other nodes throughout the city. And this is one of the first uh, suburbs here and it represents uh, a gold standard a true sense of place of historical interest of community activism and a vision for the next uh, century when people travel down Sunset Boulevard or descend from Chavez Ravine after a Dodger game go Dodgers everybody they have a chance to enjoy the sights and sounds of bustling shops and restaurants to take a peaceful refreshing walk with a dog around Echo Park and Elysian Park, to hop on a bus downtown, to go to the west side, to stop in a library, stray off uh, the beaten path to a new art gallery and walk down the staircases that have connected hillside homes to active avenues. And we've walked those staircases. From the artists to the small business owners to the parks to the tight-knit families passing their homes from one generation to another, Echo Park is a hidden treasure of culture and history seldom brought into view nationwide 
Yet after winning this award, it will certainly come out of the hiding and take its place as one of the truly great neighborhoods. So once again, thank you to the APA, American Planning Association, for recognizing this picturesque community, for revealing this local gem. I want to say something else about this. This is the first uh, Latino majority neighborhood uh, acknowledged uh, by the American Planning Association. Uh, this is a diverse community, make no mistake about it. But this is also a community that's had uh, within it uh, a Latino community that has been, long been uh, a part of Echo Park and uh, that too should be celebrated. Finally, uh, I saw a Spanish camera. Yeah, there are. Buenos dias. Quisiera reconocer la buena labor de mis amigos y mis colegas Eric Garcetti uh, y Ed Reyes. Gracias también a la planeadora municipal Gail Goldberg. Uh, Echo Park uh, es una comunidad que está orgullosa de su herencia cultural, uh, de su diversidad y de su tradición y participación uh, cívica. Es una comunidad donde padres de familia, niños y abuelos de cada cultura comparten lo mejor que ofrece uh, la ciudad. Y por eso no es sorprende que la Asociación Americana de Planación haya elegido a esta comunidad diversa como uno de los 10 grandes vecindarios del 2008. Uh, Echo Park es un tesorero cultural y histórico escondido que pocas veces tiene la atención nacional pero después de ganar este premio hoy, el secreto mejor guardado estará en boca de todos como una de las comunidades más representativas de los Estados Unidos. Gracias al APA uh, por este reconocimiento y más de todo. También es la primer uh, vecindario que es predominantemente uh, latino uh, reconocido por esta organización. Uh, in los dos años que han dado este reconocimiento. And with that, let me bring up the council president, uh, the man who represents uh, most of this uh, community, uh, the esteemed Eric Garcetti. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Always wanted to be esteemed. Thank you very much. And let me thank you, Mr. Mayor. Full esteem. I mean. Full esteem. <laughs> It was, I became politically active in Los Angeles actually because you were my representative and you had the Assembly District Advisory Council and I was representative uh, in this area um, and I want to thank you for the great representation you've given over the years in the Assembly uh, now as mayor to this area. Um, I also uh, want to thank all the folks from Echo Park who are here as well. Um, the lifeblood of Echo Park are its neighborhood organizations, the Echo Park Improvement Association, the Historical Society, the Neighborhood Council, the Chamber of Commerce, the Friends of, of the, uh, sorry, the uh, uh, Park Advisory Board, Los Tiburones, which is the uh, uh, group of uh, young fishermen and fisherwomen who are, are here in the lake. And yes, you can eat the fish out of this lake now. Um, the people who have really been the lifeblood of Echo Park has been the people. Um, people like Gary Leonard right here who lives in Echo Park and is a business owner here in Echo Park. And, and works in Echo Park. We really have an amazing, amazing neighborhood, and I'm proud to call it my neighborhood as well.